or top stories. For some, all of this hoopla surrounding the good deeds of American presidents leaves a bad taste in the mouth. Many Serbians remember the NATO campaign against their people all too well. On this story, we are joined live from Belgrade by the former Foreign Affairs Minister of Yugoslavia, Jovadin Jovanovic. Uh, Mr. Jovanovic, thank you very much for being with us. The Clinton Monument is about to go up. President Obama has received the Nobel Peace Prize. So much attention has been given to American leaders who have been involved in bloody military conflicts. Is that fair? Uh, we know about um, uh, misinterpretation of uh, NATO aggression against the uh, Federal Republic of Yugoslavia, against uh, Serbia. Uh, American public and uh, the public of so-called international community is misled. This uh, 10 years ago was a blatant aggression against a sovereign European state without any justification. It was done uh, against uh, UN Charter, against uh, the Paris Charter against uh, OEC final Helsinki document and against the whole uh, set of international conventions. Uh, so um, I think uh, what has been done in the meantime on the part of uh, United States structures was uh, trying to justify what could never be justified. This was uh, actually a crime against peace, the ultimate crime. This cost um, people of uh, Yugoslavia about 4,000 dead, uh, two-thirds of them being civilians. Uh, over 10,000 people were wounded. And uh, what is maybe even more important, people are still dying of the consequences of NATO aggression 10 years after because of the depleted uranium which has been used uh, because of the cluster bomb which uh, are exploding even today and because of uh, many polluted um, uh, natural environment areas. I think uh, that um, um, we are approaching the time when uh, Europe, first of all, but I hope the whole of the Western Hemisphere will recognize that uh, this was historic mistake to aggress a peaceful nation which has no uh, given reason for, uh, for that. Well, uh, most wartime Serbian leaders have faced prosecution at The Hague. Is there a feeling among Serbs that Clinton may, uh, who many hold responsible for the bombings and the deaths of innocent people, should be charged? Uh, I would uh, like to remind uh, the public that uh, already in uh, 1999, uh, the uh, then Yugoslav government uh, has instituted a uh, criminal court procedure against uh, leaders of NATO responsible for uh, NATO aggression against Yugoslavia. Uh, this was initiated and completed uh, the uh, regional Belgrade court and uh, leaders of uh, NATO nations, of NATO states, first of all, uh, President uh, of USA, uh, Clinton were condemned, uh, were taken responsible for this uh, aggression and for the death of so many people, for the damage of over $100 billion inflicted on uh, Serbian, of, on Yugoslav economy, for use of um, forbidden uh, armament such as depleted uranium, a cluster bomb, graphite bombs and other means. Uh, I believe uh, that uh, this responsibility cannot be faded away by the time and that uh, these uh, leaders NATO, of NATO countries uh, are responsible and will remain responsible at least in history and at least in the face of Serbian nation. I also think that uh, Serbia is um, entitled to uh, 
claim compensation for the war damages from NATO countries and that Serbia should not be idle, uh, sitting idle, even concerning use of depleted uranium, which, uh, from which Mr. Uh, Mr. citizens Ivanovic, of uh, Serbia, uh, if I can just, including if I may, those in Kosovo and Metohia, are suffering. Do you suffering. think any protests are about to follow, uh, following if, if the statue will take place in Kosovo? Uh, we cannot say if the formal protest will take place, but uh, we can say that uh, uh, this year uh, there has been a, a huge international conference attended by over 1,200 people in Belgrade uh, on occasion of the 10th anniversary of the beginning of NATO aggression. This was attended by over 250 intellectuals from all continents and many of them from Russia. Thank you very much for all your comments. Uh, that was a uh, former um, Foreign Affairs Minister of Yugoslavia, Javadin Jovanovic.